hello guys so today i will show you how you can make up to one thousand dollars line step by step but you will start from from the beginning you will start making let me say up to um hundred dollar ten dollar fifty dollar from the beginning so um this method is a method that many people are using but me i'm going to show you how i did it myself and how this can help you too so all you just need to do now is to watch this video from the beginning to the end and i will show you step by step how you can create your own website and how you can monetize your website and how you can monetize your website with affiliate marketing and how you can monetize your website with google adsense so all you just need to do is to pay attention to every part of this video because you are going to be able to become your own boss and create your own website and start using it to make free money online so i don't know what you are waiting for so all you just need to do for me now is to um, like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel this will really help me um, this will really help me to grow in youtube algorithm and uh, all i just want you to do again is to watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you will learn something at the end of this video so that you will go and apply what you learn and start using that method to start making real money online so keep on watching and let us head over to my computer right now <laughs> so guys the first thing what we need to do is to click the link below this video so once you click on the link just uh, below this video you find the link click on the link so once you click on the link just scroll down scroll down from the blog that we open up just scroll down a bit and click on the session that say get link so just scroll down scroll down a bit just scroll down click on the session that say get link so once you click on that session, it will take you to host getter where you are going to get your hosting and domain. So what you just need to do is to click on this session that says get started. I don't want to waste your time explaining what um, different different session, different um, services of uh, or different plan of host getter. They have hashing plan, baby plan, and the business plan. The hashing plan you only have you can only um, host only one website. While the baby plan you can host um, unlimited website. Why the business plan you can host on limited website all of them are one click wordpress install so what you just need to do i recommend you to pick this session that says rec we recommend which is uh, the baby plan and um, you just need to click on this session that say buy now so once you click on this session that say buy now what you need to do next is to get your domain so you have to understand that your first your first year of uh, your your you are going to get um hosting for one year which is free you are going to get it for free your hosting um sorry not your hosting your domain for one year is free so you just need to set um set for the domain you want to use for your business for your website that you have come like the domain you want to be you want to use so what you just need to do here is to just search for um get me fast don't search for anything just choose or something you want so I'm, I'm going to use get me fast I'm going to use get me fast and I will click on search. So it's going to uh, tell me if get me fast is available. The domain is available. So as you can see, get me fast is available, which is get me get get fast. Sorry, not get me fast, but get fast dot com. Uh, which, yes. What, what did I even write? Yes, is get fast me dot com. So you can see get fast me dot com. And as you can see that the domain is available. This is, for example, you know, I'm, is it tutorial? So I'm just showing you what you need to do how, how you can get your domain your domain is let me say gospower.com like me you can see gospower.com you can see like faith faith.com hostgetter.com nike.com godaddy.com gogo.com so that is what i'm trying to talk about here so um once you have see that your domain is available then you just need to scroll down to get your hosting just scroll down a bit so on the hosting you will search on the session make sure the package type is baby plan and you have to click on the session use monthly in case you have problem with this hosting you can just change it immediately you are going to pay for uh, 11 11 dollars and 95 cents for only this month just scroll down here you are going to enter your um, gmail account and uh, let me repeat it is for example of what you can do and here you are going to enter your uh, gmail account and here you are going to enter your password which is what you are going to give to them in case you have problem with your hosting or your plan you can contact them they will ask you for this code and they will use this code to access your account so what you need to do again is to scroll down to enter your billing information so this session you are going to enter your first name last name and required details and phone number then you are going to choose how you want to pay for your domain and hosting 
you can choose by credit card or paper if you click on paper it will ask me to enter my paper uh, it will, once I click on process proceed it will take me to um, there I'm going to enter my paper um, Gmail and password and I will be uh, uh, the that money will be deducted from my paper account so just scroll down so once you scroll down here, you are going to uh, see other recommended additional services. You don't need them. Just leave everything. Don't do anything there because all those services, you are going to get them for free later. So on this session, you can see they automatically apply this uh, um, discount code, which is called Snappy. So you can use this uh, code, which is called Snappy if you want. And once you enter that Snappy, you will have some discount code, which is you are not paying for. Uh, you are going to have at least, let me say, $5 five dollar and four cent discount code so just scroll down and once you scroll down at the bottom here you will find the total amount you will pay for this hosting and domain for the first time while after you have paid this amount this is what you are going to be paying each month you are going to be paying this amount here which is eleven dollar and ninety five cent each month so just scroll down once you have entered all your information scroll down scroll down accept the terms and condition that you have read the terms and condition of host gator if you want to read it just click on it and read it so that you can accept it once you are through and click on check out now and your hosting and domain will be processed and they will tell you that they are building your um uh, your uh, account your dashboard your host uh, your host gator uh, dashboard so once you are through with that and uh, let us move to how you can install your wordpress and start building your website so now that you have get your hosting and domain, so to log into your um, HostGator dashboard, come to HostGator and click on the section that says sign in and click on portal. This section that says portal, which is for customer dashboard, click on that. So once you click on portal here, if you save your password, it automatically um, displayed here. So mine is automatically displayed because I save it and uh, it replaces it immediately and I don't need to enter anything. I'll click on next. Here you are going to enter your Gmail and password that you use to create your HostGator ad account and click on login. So once you click on login, it's going to open our dashboard now. So once you open your dashboard here, this is what you will see here. And if you want to see your domain, you click on this session domain, you will see all domain that you have. So yeah, that is, if I click on domain now, here on this session, you will find the, you will find all the domains that I have on my account. You will find them here. So you find all your domains here. So to get to install your um to install WordPress on your account, you just need to click on the session that says marketplace. Click on marketplace, and once you click on marketplace, you will uh, just scroll down. Just scroll down. Once you click on marketplace, you will see this session that say um WordPress uh, one click uh, install. So once you click on one click install, which is this one here, it will take you directly to where you are going to uh, install your um. WordPress. So what you are going to do once it land you here, you just need to uh, click on this session that say install, uh, which is WordPress. You click install. So once you click install, so it's going to show you if you don't have sorry about that. If you don't have any domain here, if you don't have any domain here, so you can see it said uh, choose your installation URL. So you are going to um, here you are going to select the uh, website you want to install. On. We, today we are going to install WordPress on our Usave SEO tools. Click on that and don't enter anything here which is indirect URL. Don't enter anything here. Just leave it blank and just scroll down. Scroll down here. You are going to set the uh, your site. Your, if you want to leave it as blog, you can leave that. Admin, if you want to change this session, you can change everything. And um, for me, I I, lo I love leaving it just the way it is. Only what I can change here is this session. I will just change this. Um, I will just change this Gmail to my you my normal Gmail. So I'm going to set that up. So here you are going to enter your Gmail. So once you have entered your Gmail, at the bottom here you are going to select language, which is the language you want your WordPress to be displaying on, which is English, and scroll down. You just need to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. So here in this session, you are going to enter your Gmail again. Enter the same Gmail so that it will send all your information. So once they install your WordPress, all details will be sent to this Gmail account you entered here. So once you are through, you just need to click on this session, uh, install. But what I, I recommend you to do, you can see this session that say admin. 
you can change it to something you want let me say we can change it to like um, you save um, you, you can change it to like uh, SEO SEO save or we can say like um, uh, like what can I say here you save SEO we can do like something like this you save SEO and we just need to scroll down to install our WordPress for the password you can leave it like this or you can enter password that you want and uh, yeah so you can just scroll down scroll down and click on install uh, where is install is at the bottom just scroll to the bottom this is the WordPress click on install so once you click on install you just need to scroll back up you will see it say checking and uh, checking and submitting that data so it say it may take three to um three to uh four minutes to install so we are just going to wait for it to install completely so as you can see we just successfully install our um our website which is we just successfully installed our wordpress um uh, one click install so we have our website created now so if we click on this link here if i click on that link it will open up our website so you will see now this is our website now but this is how it looks you see now the, you see now that it's ugly and we are going to transform this website you are going to be shocked what you are going to do on this website so let us go if you want to get to get like you want to have access to your um dashboard you just need to click on come back again to that place you install it don't don't close this window yet just leave it open and click on this session you say admin ad, administrat administrative uh, url click on this session once you click on that it will open up and it will open up your wordpress dashboard and uh, yeah so let us wait for it to open so as you can see now this is your wordpress admin dashboard so what you are going to do here now you can see there's a bunch of things here so what we are going to do the first thing is to change our password so what we need to do is to click on this session and click on profile yes i think it's that profile and uh, i think it's profile you just need to scroll down here just scroll down i think it's this session if i'm not mistaken uh, profile scroll down yes it's on this session click on profile scroll down and click on this session that say uh, new uh, set new password so click on this session and enter the password you want so me i'm going to enter a enter a new password here so i'm going to enter okay i'm going to hide it for you not to see that <laughs> okay so i have set my password now i just need to scroll down and click on save so that is the first thing you will do once you um, install your WordPress. And uh, let me say, for example, now we log out. That is the password we just set. Now that is the password and this username you see, which is you set SEO, which will be our username. So that is first thing you need to do once you install your WordPress account. So now we are going to start designing our website and um, adding all information we want and how we want our website to look. So the first thing, if we, if I click on this session now and click on visit my site, this is how our website look, and uh, you can see say hello world, and there is nothing on it. So we are going to go back to our dashboard again, and the first thing what I want us to do, the first thing I usually do is to delete all pages and all things that followed our um our website, and then we can install a team. So that is the first thing I usually do on before i start adding things or designing my website so what i we have to do is to click on pages go to pages and you have to delete all pages that you see you can see we only have two pages here click on that click on this icon here and click on uh, move to trash and click on apply apply and it will uh, uh, move it to trash immediately and you will need to go to trash to delete it completely and you can just click on it again here and you can delete it completely like a delete permanently and click on apply and it will be deleted permanently go to uh, post again go to post you can see where it say hello world which is the post we are going to delete that and we can leave it for the moment and or we can delete it so to delete that we just to click on this session and click on this session again click on uh uh, move to trash and you can click on move to trash and that is how you can trash delete things on your uh, WordPress dashboard and click on trash again and you click on uh, hello world 
make sure you check and you click on this section click on um, delete permanently and click on apply now apply and it will be deleted completely so if we go back to our website now you will go, you will see now that is no if we refresh i think if we refresh it you will not see hello world again so you can see that there's no hello world anymore all you just see is my blog so we are going to go back again and click on a dashboard and go to to if, if all those things you can see here is like it's kind of boring to you what you can do is to click on this drop down icon here and you can see them here all you just to do is to click on this checkbox and you you will see that they will disappear so just click on that remove this remove that remove this and that is how you do it you remove all those things so let me remove them so once you are through click on checking all those boxes, you just need to click on those session again and cancel this cancel this so you have everything now so you have your wordpress dashboard clean and beautiful so what you need to do again is to delete the, uh, the plugins click on plugins here and we are going to delete all the plugins that followed our website so what we need to do now is to click on those session and click on click on this session here we need to delete all the plugins that followed it you need to click on deactivate so click on deactivate which is all the plugins is almost the eight plugins so we are going to click on deactivate and we click on this session again and click on um, delete so we are going to click on all the plugins again and apply it's just the same way we need to do it for anything we need to delete from our website so as you can see everything is deleting successfully so we can see that we have deleted all the plugins and everything will be deleted completely so if we go and click on dashboard now you can see that our dashboard now is not free and is good to work with now so the first thing you need to do i know you've been wondering i have deleted everything so what are we going to do the first thing we are going to do now is to install a theme a theme is what is making your website to look beautiful so that is a theme so we are going to use a theme which is called ashra so what we are going to do we need to click on the session that say appearance we click on teams go to teams so once you click on team, this is the current thing that is running on our website now. So what you need to do, click on the session that says add new and click on add new there. So once you click on add new, what we need is Ashra. Click on Ashra and click on install. So once you click on install, it will open. Once you have installed, it will tell you to activate. Click on activate and automatically it will be added to your um website and your team will be installed which is your team will now be ashra so if we go uh before we go we can install this data um this starter team so as uh, this data template which we are going to get multiple templates to design our website with and we can click on get data and it will automatically be installed and it will ask us to um activate it so it's activating so yeah and uh, it's going to tell us that we have uh just activated our uh, starter team uh, starter template so as you can see now we have our starter template if we go now to our website now and click on visit site and you will see that this is how our website look now you see that is look now the look of the, our website just changed and our website is now looking a bit beautiful so the first thing we are going to do again now is to um start designing our website so if you want to design a website how are you going to design you are going to design it with elemental uh, wordpress page builder or you are going to design it with something so we are going to use elemental so we are going to use elemental to design our website if you want to get this elemental pro um you need to leave me a message on my instagram or on my facebook page i will i will get in touch with you and send you the link to download this elemental pro so just send me a message on my instagram or on my facebook page i will send you the link of elemental pro but you are going to pay just a a fee you are going to pay a fee for getting this elemental pro but it's going to be little it's not going to be a lot just send me a message if you are interested to get this elemental pro on your website so what you are going to do you are going to click on the session that say install plugin so once you click on once we click on install plugin we are going to click on add new plugins so we are going to click on add new plugins here i'm going to install the plugin from uh i'm going to install this plugin which is elementor pro from my uh, dashboard because i have already downloaded it on my uh, computer so i'm going to click on this session here and i'm going to scroll down to look for it uh elementor pro i'm going to look for it In just a minute let me look for it so guys i have found it this is elementor pro just click on it 
and I will click on this one here which is Elementor Pro click on that and click on open and to open the zip file here I'm going to install it now so it's installing now you are just going to wait and as you can see plugin install install successfully we are going to click on activate plugin voila so that is how you install you need to click on the section that says install elementor install elementor now click on that and it will now install the elementor plugins click on that and it will take you to this session where you are, where it's going to ask you to uh, sign up and register. To register is very simple on your Elementor account. So that is what you need to do. Once you are through, um, inst uh, register. Once you are, once you complete the registration, you are done, and you will go back to your um, WordPress dashboard. It's very simple. So now that we have installed our Le Elementor. Um, Elementor, which is the pay, what we are going to use to build our website, which is our drag and drop uh, builder um, uh, plugin. So now we are going to set up a page. So we are going to set up a home page, about us, and contact us page. So and we are going to set up blog. So well, how we can set up that is to come to this session that says blogs, uh, pages. This session, click on pages and click on add new page, add new. You can see that session that says add new. So we are going to um, enter our page and we are going to call home, contact us about, it's going to show up this, just click on that, is that that. And this session we are going to call it uh, home. We are going to call it home and we are going to uh, click on, once we call it home, so we are going to click on um, publish and publish. So we are going to create the other page, which we are going to like this session again, click on add new page. Click on that and we are going to call it contact us. Like contact us. I want to call it contact us. I'm going to call it contact us and we are going to click on publish, save and publish. And we are going to click on add new page again. So we are going to add the other pages. So we are going to call it um, contact, contact us. No, we have already installed about us. We are going to call it about us. And that is it. So if we go back now and go to our dashboard, so you can see all the pages we created. We have our home, we have contact us, we have um, about us, we have a privacy policy, and we have terms of use. So we have to add one which is blog. We didn't add that. That is even the reason why we are making this video. So we are going to call it blog. Sorry about that. Blogs. Okay, we are good to go. Click on save and publish, and that is it. So now that you have done that, go back to dashboard again, and you can see that we have all our page, blog, about us, contact us. So we are going to start now designing all those pages. This will be our home page, which is going to be our home page. So how to set everything up and make sure everything is working? We are going to go to this session that say. So what we are going to do here now is to uh, set up something so that anytime we design some, we, we once we start, like if we go to our website now, there's no menu. So to make sure everything is online. So uh, even the menu I've started displaying already. So you can see contact us about uh, and everything. So to make sure everything is aligned, so we just need to click on this session. It add automatically because the team we are using, which is the Ashra team, is not like that before. I don't know why they change. So anything you add as a page or menu, they will display on the menu session. So what you can do here now is to just click on this session. Uh, when you see uh, settings, once you click on settings, you click on reading. Yes, it's reading to set up all your pages and make sure they are working accordingly. So once you click on uh, page, um, reading, which is this session here, you need to you will see your home page displayed. So you, you see it's in statics, uh, your latest post. You can see that on this session is that anything you anything anything you do on your website everything will be sent to your uh, blog post which is not what we want so we are going to click on the session that says sta a statics page once you click on the session we are going to click on the session again and make home as home and we we'll click on um, blogs as blogs so we can set other things how much how many blogs you want to display in each pages so you can decide that and uh, yeah 
so once you decide how many blocks you want to display and the and the other things items and you just need to scroll down and click on save once you are through setting up what you want to change click on save so once you click on save i know i it will be saved it automatically so once once you have saved so we'll go to appearance here and once you go to appearance click on menus here so once you click on so we are going to create menu because we see that we don't have menu on our website so we are going to create a menu so to create a menu what you need to do here now is to um to click on those sessions so to create a menu what you can do you can do it from your dashboard which what we are going to do now so you need to vi click on visit website here and you will see this session that say customize here on the session click on that session there so once you click on that session what can happen here is that your website we open your website dashboard which is the settings we open what you need to do here now you need to go to the session that say um that is say menus so which is this session click on menus here so you can see we don't have any menus any menus um, like a main menu or footer or anything like that so we are going to arrange our menu so we are going to call this primary menu which is main menu we are going to call it main menu main menu Call it main menus. Main menus. Okay, main menus. And we are going to uh, scroll down and click on next. So this is our main menu. Now, if we click on our main menu session, now we are going to click on home, uh, blogs, contact us, and about us and contact us. So you can see now it's displaying. Um, just like we arrange it so we can do it like a drop down but we don't need to leave everything like that and click on publish as you can see now we have this is the menus we have now on our website which is what I just set and uh, yeah so we are going to create other menus so you can see that our website is changing now and we click on save we'll go back again and go back again so go back to that same menus we are going to create now we are going to create footer menu so click on that again and this one is going to be footer menu so we are going to come to this session and click on footer footer menu and we are going to go to this session and call it footer menu um footer menus i'm going to call it footer menus and we are going to um make sure it's footer menu and click on next and this session we are going to click on add so on the footer menu we are going to be displaying privacy policy terms of use and we can display let me say uh, contact us if we want or uh, we can just less we can display that and click on publish and if we scroll down normally it will be displaying our uh, our uh, menus there but it will not display now because we have not really designed it and make sure we want it to be displaying there so to make sure it's displaying there i will show you how you can do that and uh, yeah so to do that you just need to go to this session again and click on where is footer yes it's this session that says footer menus here so what we can do here now you can see this footer menu that we already have here we just need to click on the session here i say copyright menus here and we can remove this and add our own um menus so as you can see that we just remove that it just dis it disappeared automatically so what we can do now is to display our own menu so how can we do that we need to click on this session that you can see the session that say copyright and what we can do we can like enter our own content there or we can just drag in our footer menus to display on that session so what we can do now is to um click on the session and we need to uh, search for this footer menu which is this one and we need to click on that and we need to uh, remove this and as you can see our footer menu now is not displaying here so what we can do now to change the background and make sure we are seeing our footer menu is to uh, click on the session you can see colors we are going to make the test color white so we are going to make the test color white uh, yes the test color white and we are going to go back and go back again so we are going to click on this design and the background is going to be black so we are going to make sure the background is black and i don't know why it's not yeah okay just need to click on it and make sure it's black and you can do that and bring it down to black so once you are through with that i think it will start displaying now 
so let us click on publish and let us see how it look now and uh, to see how everything is showing so you can see now that it's showing it will start showing later i think if we refresh it i think it will display uh it will start displaying the black at the bottom there so yeah i now that we have set up the footer menus and the footer menus as you can see the footer menu is still showing um this color which is we don't want let us fix that because we don't want that to be showing so let us click on this session again and click on this uh, let us click on this session design and we'll click on this session that say the design yes is this session that say background which is what we are going to um we are going to make the background black yes and black and black so we have made the background black and we are going to say the link it have to be white the link have to be white and we can just click on publish and if we go back now and like drag this down a bit let me just click on his out here since we have saved that so if we scroll down now you can see that our footer now is not showing black so what we can do so that everything you can see here all the footers will be showing black i think we have to fix something again go back again it's taking long to fix this now so what we can do now is to uh, go back again go back to the same footer and sorry about that footer menu we are going to make sure the whole background is black there is it yes foot out here and we are going to make the whole background which is this part too i'm just going to make it background we are going to make it black so as you can see everything has been set you can see how i did that and uh, how i did that was that i go this it was what i did it was that i went to this session here and i click on design and uh, yeah i click on design and i click on this session and that is how i did that so you already know how you can do that so you, what we did was we click this session and we didn't do anything we just come to this session and we selected the background color which is what we changed and as you can see it's changing automatically which is what we want as black so click on general and click on it automatically you click on black and it will change automatically so that is how you can set up the footer session so as you can see now we have our footer session which is called privacy policy terms of use and contact all so that one have been set now which is something that is very very important so we are going to set up the home page of our website so let us move to that session right now so um we are going to set up our home page so to set up your home page what you need to do go to your dashboard so once you go to your dashboard what you need to do here now is to click on pages so once you click on pages here you need to click on the page you want to uh, design which is this one home page click on home page and once you click on home page what you need to do here now is to click on this one that says uh, edit with elementor click on edit with elementor so it's going to take us to our dashboard which is elementor elemental dashboard so it's going to open so as you can see this is our elemental dashboard here so what we need to do here now is to uh, make our website to uh, start looking good so what are we going to do here now is to um, make the home page so what what are we going to do we are going to install a theme so we are going to click on the session that say our uh, template no not my template we are going to install a theme we are going to look for a free theme uh let me go back and click on starter template so on this session that's on starter template you can see bunch of team that you can install and you will just all you just need to do is to retouch it and you will have your website that you want so uh let me say for example we want to build a blogging website we are going to look for something that is talking like a blog uh, like website that is good for blogging but i'm going to use any website for the purpose of this video let me say for example i'm going to use this one here so all i just need to do is to click on this session that say the home page and we are going to click on um, import 
and it will be imported on our website so that is going to be our home page so it's going to open now just wait in a second okay as you can see now this is our website now let me just uh, click out here as you can see so this is how our website is looking now I think our website is looking cute and I think it's looking professional as you can see so everything is just in order and you can see the home page you can see our privacy policy and everything is just showing in a good way we can assume this is our blog and that is it so you can see how our website look now well 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 we'll just retouch the website and I'll show you how you can retouch each page here so what we need to do now is to click on this section again and to change the background of this image all you just need to do is to like click on it and you can just um, click on style once you click on style this is the image that you just saw if you want to change that image click on it and you need to select any image from your library let me say for example um, since it's a blogging website we just want it to look something like this and we'll just click on insert so this is what is going to be displayed on our website and if we want to retouch this content like we want to change the test we can just say we can just call it like um, best let us call it best SEO best SEO uh, site let me call it best SEO site and at the bottom here I can say like um, uh, discover like discover like discover discover SEO SEO tools I can just do something like that discover SEO tools and the button session I will remove that if to remove it you just need to click on it click on the session here and or you can just like remove the button also how to, you can remove the button you can just remove the test here and you can just remove the color the color of this of it you can just come to this session and you can do it like click on the session and I think you you will not find it again let me just click on that and make it transparent so you can see that it disappear and we cannot find the test again so yeah the button have disappeared so if i click on this session now this is what people will see when they land on our website and as you can see our website is looking good now so we can just like tweak, tweak the website make it look to exactly to what you want so how you can change everything and make it to look exactly to what you want you can change the image add your image and design a website if you want to add any element or template you just need to click on this icon here click on the plus icon you can see add a column so if you want to add a column click on that you can see it display in different form if you want to add another like things here let me say for, for example want to add an image here we can just click on this section and drag in image template there and we can now enter image here you can just say let's say for example we can just enter this image here and insert and as you can see this is what is going how this is how it's going to be looking like so when it displays it's going to be looking like this so that is how you can really design your website make it look to exactly to how you want it to look and once you are through uh, making it to look to exactly to what you want you can just click on this session that say update and you see that it will be updated automatically and you will have your website let me say for example if you go and visit our website in a new tab let us go now to view our website let me open another uh, windows to visit our website to see how it look we are going to say like say for example um our domain was uh what was the name of our domain it was you save so if you click on that now and click on enter so you can see this is how it's displaying now and this is how our websites are now so this is our website and as you can see you have your website created so that is how you can easily create your website you can see the blog session here you can just click on blog on this session you will find out about all your blog and you can click on those session that say about and you can click on contact us you can find all those sessions too so what you can do too here is that um 
what you can do to here is that you can see that we have our logo here which is what we did not talk about so we need to come back again to this session and refresh it so we are going to add our logo click on this session and we are going to add our logo and our favorite icon so what we need to do here now is to go down just scroll down a bit just come down click on this session and you need to see this session see add a size logo uh, you can click on that and click on this session to add your site logo and click on upload so i'm going to upload the logos click on that and i'm going to look for you save seo yes i think it's this yes i can find the logos here click on this I will just in download everything because I will be using them. I will just click on that and I think we are good to go. I will just click on image and I will click on insert. I think we have our logo now and click on crop image and now we have our logo. So I'm going to reduce the size and I think it's looking good in this way. So I'm going to go back again and off the remove the title and as you can see our logo is not displaying so if we go back come down just scroll down a bit you can see the site icon which is the favorite icon which is what is displaying at the top of a website let me just uh, do that in just a second i'll click on publish on what i just did before i do any other thing so i'll just click on black and i'll go back again to enter the favorite icon so i'm going to go back again and click on where is it uh, site identity i'll click on favorite a site icon i will select uh, let me see this one and this will be our site icon i will click on save and you can see so this is how it will be displaying and i will just click on save and crop and that is it so we have now our site icon which is displaying at the top here and we click on publish and we have that set and uh, i think our website will be looking good now let us go back again and refresh our website as you can see it's displaying our logo and if i click on this session here it's going to show this display again as you can see so our website is now displaying our logo and we have our logo now so yeah so that that is how you can add logo and make your website look to exactly to what you want so let me show you how you can play with your website color so to play with your website color and change the colors of your website what you need to do on this session you will see a session that is called uh where is it uh, i think is on the site no it's not on the site it's under here so you can find it on global click on global you find typography so on typography you will be able to now like manipulate the colors of your website the buttons color the 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 you can find how you can manipulate everything and make it to look exactly to what you want so once you're on global you will see buttons color you can change the buttons color just like exactly to what how you want it to look you can if you want something like this you want it round you want it like four corner side you want it in this session this way you can choose like how you want it once you choose you click on save and you select the color test color background color um, border border uh, border weight and you can choose all those things contain you can choose the container the default of your uh, layout and how you want the position of blog to look and the way the weight of your content and everything so if i click go back again we click on colors on this session you will set on the the, the background color you can see the background color of our website is white and that is why you can see that here is transparent and you can set up the content background color you can set up everything make sure you the heading the, uh, the heading one to heading six heading six color and the text color and the link color you can set everything here so once you are you you get uh, now you have an idea on how you can design the color of your heading your title and everything so you just need to go back and the typography on this session that is other places where you find other features and um colors and how you can really manipulate your website colors and everything so that is what you need to know about 
how the how you can design the coloring or the, the the background color and other things that concern your website so that is it so now that you have an idea of how you can design the colors and how you want your website to look so we are still on the designing so if we click if i click on uh edit with elementor to take us to elementor again where we are going to like edit our website page and make it to look exactly to how we want it to look so what is important is that you can manipulate your website make it to look exactly to what you want let me say for example you want to remove this template all you just need to do is to click on this session here you remove that session you will see that it will not display again let me say for example um i don't like this session here i will just click on this session here i will click on this as you can see it disappear and i'll click on save and the changes will be made on my website let me say for example i want to like remove some parts on this session here let me say i don't like this image i'll just click on it and copyright it, cop like co right copy it and click on delete once you right copy it here and you click on delete it will dis delete automatically it will not it will not show again on your website even the content if you want to change the content you can just like um like remove this content here if i click on remove you will see that it's not displaying anymore and i can click on save that is how you can make changes to your website and if you want to change the colors of this button you can just click on this session and click on style once you click on style you can see if i change this button's color let me say i want to change it to something like blue you can see that it changed to blue let me say i want to change it to something like red i will just click on that and scroll down and look for red or i can just click on this section here and i drag this to red the red part here and you can see that the button have been changed to red and i can manipulate it like you can do the head over like head over button the test it will be white and the background type is going to be let me say um the background type is going to be let me say for example um uh let us see the background type we are going to call it like um uh let us make it background type uh, let me just call it uh, blue or green you can see so when they try to head over it is showing like grading it's showing gradient color we want something like very different so you can see it's showing green like if you try to head over it and you can do some animation here is to click on it and click on grow so anytime so anyone try to click on it it will grow it will grow big and you can change the the the, 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 the function you can see like anytime somebody click on try to click on it it will like pop up in a way which is called pause uh pause you can see the way it did it just pause somehow so that is how it look let me see let me like here's out here let me close it and like you see the way it display so when i try to click on it you see the way it's displaying so that is how you can really manipulate your website make it to look at some animation at some like things you know let me see if you see at the top of our website here if i click on this session i'm just showing you how you can design your website and make it to look exactly to what you want if i click on this session here at the top here and i can do some kind of beautiful animation in that part so what i can do here is to click on this session you can see where you see um uh, shape shape dive you can click on this session and you can just click on the shape dive that you want wave mountain you can see the way it displayed here you can see how you can really design your website and make it to look something different you can see how it's looking so it will add like you did some coding on your website so you can see how it's looking now and if you like something like that you can just click on save and you can go to the button again and go to the button of your website and uh, do the same thing just click on this section here and what is good is that you can change the the color of the 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 the, the animation so click on this session here and just wait in a second i'll just click on this session here and click on this session here again and i will click on style make sure you click on style so you will see the session again a uh, shape wave and you can see i can just click on that and i'll click on like multi and if we scroll down at the bottom you will see it will not show because the color is not is black let me see something like black here you will see the way it's displaying now let me see something like uh, blue you will see the way it will display again so yeah you can see now how it's displaying now and if i click on save and publish 
and this is how it will look if we go to another dashboard here and refresh our website you will see that your website will start looking good you see the way the website is looking now so that is this is how our website look and if we scroll down this is how this is what we just added and that is how you can really edit your website make it to look exactly to what you want and uh, yeah so that is what i need to talk about on this session so you already know now how you can really manipulate your website with elementor page builder and design your website to look exactly to what you want I know you'll be wondering but if I want to add something to a particular column how can I do that click on this plus icon and you see to drop down the icon click on this section you can add in a like a column of three then on this three column you can add like this section can be like an image you can do something like image on this column and the second column here you can do something like um, button and the third column here you can do something like uh, let me remove this uh, I can just click on delete I can just put something like um, video here and you can do something else again on this session something like let me see for example uh, what can I do here uh, 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 uh. we can do something like gallery we can just put something like gallery in here and yeah so you can just that on gallery you can add images and other things let me say for example i can add this image this this and i can just create and send insert and as you can see those things will be displayed on gallery and i can add multiple things so if i'm true with that i will just click on save and i will go to my go to that dashboard again that new window and refresh the new window again so once we refresh the new window what is going to happen here is that um what is going to happen is that you will see that it will start displaying on this session here you can see the things that we just added on our website you can make it look more beautiful and good like customize it to make it look exactly to what you want rearrange them and you can do that in a very simple way so yeah that is how you can really add things to your website if you want to and now that you have added that how can we create contact us page if we want to create our contact us page so that is what i'm going to show you now so we are going to go back again to our dashboard so once you come on our dashboard page how to create our contact us form we need to go to plugins so we are going to install this plugin which is called um that is called the uh, uh, wp form I just type in forms and show here W WordPress uh, WP form and yeah as you can see w, WP forms yes okay so I'll just click on install so once I click on install I will click on activate so once I click on activate yeah that is it and it shows a blank page so what we are going to do we need to go to uh, the form here you can see this is the form just to click on it so once we click on it, we are going to click on the section that say add new. There is no form on our website, on our page. Now we just need to click on add new. So it's going to take us to this session. We are going to add a form, a blank form. So click on blank form. And we are going to click on create a blank form. So it's going to open a blank form and ask us to enter our information we want and how we want it to look. So what we need on this form is that you can see that it's blank. So what we need is uh, we need the name. Just dragging the name there, and we need the, the Gmail here, and we need uh, the test. Where is the test form? Boss, I think it's boss. I think so. I think it's boss. I think is boss. Oh no, boss is like to select. Um, I think here is the test, test, the single. I think is this one. Let us see. Yeah, I think is this one single test. Yeah, I yeah, I think is here. Uh, is this one? Yeah, is this one? So we are going to call it message. And uh, yeah, and uh, messages. So we are going to we can make it required. 
so you have to enter a message here to be able to send us an email so this is how you can really create your form and once you are through with that just like if you want to make if you want if you don't want to be displaying the um the how would i call it the label you can just remove that to remove that what you can do uh, is asking us for the pro plan so to remove the label and um, you just need to click on this section that say uh this format here and simple if you leave it on simple you will see your show name and uh, without like um surname so if you click on the first name uh middle name and last name or we can just click on first name and first name and last name and you can see it showing first name and last name here so you that is how you can really uh manipulate that and make it to look to how you want it to look and once you are through with that uh, you see that is okay for you and uh, you have the i think you have the option of like making it to look like this one too i don't know why it's not displaying here and uh, let me just try to do that i click on advanced to see i think i need to like hide the label no it's not that uh, yeah, it's not that so we are just going to leave it just like it is now and i think it's okay by me i don't really think that is bad on this way so if you are okay with that so we need to uh, set up the title of the form so what you need to do is to click on save and once you click on save click on save again and uh, i think everything is okay we need to go back to our dashboard to see the form we created to see how it look so what you are going to do now is to go back again click on back and if we click on forms i think normally it's supposed to display oh no it still goes back to this session so you are going to click on all forms so you can see this is the form we just created we need to remove this thing here and this is the form we just created so we need to like title the form because the form is showing another thing we are going to we are not going to call it form we are going to call it contact us like contact us contact let us call it contacts and uh, this session that you see the button that is normally you will say send it says submit we are going to do send just make it like send and uh, yeah we are good to go and when they click it it will start showing sending and that is it so once you are through with that click on ok and click on ok and you need to go back now so we need to refresh it so this is now the contacts and we are going to see, you are going to see this thing here which is the code we are going to use, we are going to paste on our website the uh the short code which is this is the phone code copy it copy copy so once you copy it go to your pages so once you go to your pages what you are going to do here now is that you need to um click on the contact us click on contact us on the session so once you click on contact us you are going to click on edit with elementor so once you click on it's going to open up so it's going to open up so what you are going to do here now is to um add in a column one column here so once you add in this column what you are going to do on those session is to you can make it like full weight and make it a no gap and you can just click on this icon to add in the short code you can just click on the session and write shots you can see the display short code and you can drag in it inside here and on this session here you will enter the code here at the side so once you enter the code um this is the, this is now the form we just created so to make sure the form is aligned we need to um like change the background of this column we need to make it like something like um uh, let me see what we can do about the background color we can do something like blue or black let us do something like uh, why uh, what can i do here let me do something like gray and this is the form contact us form you can change it to 
change what you really want and how you want it to look and what you need what you can do again here you can still click on those sessions and click on the menu icon here or you can come back again to this session that say boss and you can click on that and you can really um, align the uh, test and make sure it look exactly to how you want it to look i think it's okay by me like this and i need to change the test color to something different maybe like something white or another color so how you can do that click on style and you can change it to just scroll down you see the session that says typography i think the test color we can just click something like that like um, blue no we can do something like um black yeah something like black is more better in this way so once it's okay by you click on save so i think now that we have our contact us created so if we come to our website now on the session and click on contact us let us see and refresh so voila so as you can see we have our contact us form is displaying and anybody can just enter their first name last name and they send us an email and we'll receive an email on our, our account so yeah you have your contact us set and on your the blog session we need to set up a blog so uh how can we do that so what we need to do we need to um make sure that we need to make sure that everything is working fine so um we need to set up a blog and to set up your blog what you need to do is to uh, go back again so let's go back and we need to go to our website and we need to go to our home page which is our dashboard and once you're on dashboard here we need to uh, click on the session that says post and we need to create a post so this is how you can create a post click on the session here and uh, i have already made a post i want to create so i'm going to say the, this post like how to lose how to lose wait or let me say how to make money online how to make money online fast how to make money how to make money online fast okay how to make money online fast and once you are through with that i think uh, it's okay by me and i will just click on publish and save and publish and what you can do here again now is to like add an image you know add an image to our add an image to our like feature image click on both session and click on image we can select any image from our like from the image we have here let me see this one here i can just this for example of how you can do this so once you click on that and you click on save I think we'll have our blog now so let us go and see on our website but before we can go there let us just add a short content here uh, let us enter like um, sorry about that let me enter just a short test here so as you can see I just type in a short content here I just try this short content and uh, yeah so I will just click on uh, update here and I will click on update and if we go back to our uh, uh, new window and like Oh, sorry about that if we go to our new window now and like click on blog and we refresh so you can see now that we have one blog on our website and uh, yeah so you can see now that people can really uh, like click on this blog and read about our blog that we just posted so you can see so yeah so that is how you can add blog to your website and if I click on like read more here so it will open the blog page which is what you can see here and i can read it and if i like i find it interesting i can just enter a comment here like leave a comment on this page or on this website about their blog and if i like it and if there is links i can click to see what they are really talking about so that is how you can really create blog posts on your website and if they if they click on like um home they will find about home they click on blog they'll find your blogs they click on about us they'll find about us they click on contact us they can contact you so now we are going to um, set up um, about us so we are just going to set up that in just a second so to set it up we need to go back again to our 
dashboard here we need to go back to dashboard and uh, we need to go to pages and we are going to work on about us so click on about us and this session we are going to enter about us here so i'm just going to quickly write in about us here so i will just paste in about us and bam so i'll just click on update here and if we go back to our new page and as out this and go back to home page and if i click on uh, about contact us about us you can see about us is showing nothing now when i refresh it you will see now so we say about us and you can find this short test about us and that is how you can do that and you can see on the website you can see that the sidebar is displaying like blog recent post and everything so but on the home page it's not displaying that and on blog is displaying that on um, about us is displaying that on contact us is not displaying that because i didn't make the website the page full weight i didn't make um, about us and uh, blogs full weight so i'm going to make it full weight so that you will not find that again so to do that what you can do on this session is that there is a at the bottom at the bottom you will find a session that will ask you to do that normally you will find it here on that template you will find uh, full weight you can just do it full weight on the session so when I do it full weight you will see that it will not display again so I will just go back again to see if it work and this was about us oh, no it was a uh, blog so let me click on about us and let me refresh so as you can see when i click on full weight this is how it displayed which is not really really good and uh, we are but th that is how you can really um change the about us page and make it to look full weight if you want or you can do it in the other way which is um not elemental full weight but you can do it as um no, because that was elemental full weight that is why you see it expand and expand like that so to really find out you need to click on ashra and you can like this is the part where you can really uh, remove the um uh the title of the uh about us if you don't want the title of about us to display if you see on the website here you can see that normally it was displaying about us at the top here so let me say for example now i will go back again on the main website here and i will remove the uh let me go up back go up back and i have to go back again to like the main menu here and i will remove it put it as default and I click on save as you can see it have been saved and if we go back again to our main website and refresh and you can see it's displaying like this so let me do something again let me go back to our our pages here and click on this session that say ashra and if i click on the sidebar you can see you can do that you don't want a sidebar you can just click on no sidebar and you can leave the content weight as uh, boss you can leave the content you can see content layout you can leave it as boss and you can set here as no sidebar and you click on update and if you go to our website now and i think it will be looking good now so let me just click on that this will not display again so let me refresh and i think it should be working Let me refresh that or open it in a new window again. Let me just try to open it in a new window. You save uh, SEO tools and click on about, refresh, refresh. Let me just fix that in a second. As you can see, it's displaying about us. So when I click about us, you can see now that it's displaying normal. So everything is, is in contact and I think I like it like this. So yeah, that is how you can do that. And if we go back again to our dashboard here, you can see it's displaying the same way. But if, when you click on blog, the blog is, is not displaying, displaying in a way that is not really okay. So what we can do on this session again is like to, um, is to change the, the actual 
websites uh, blog we are going to go back to our website dashboard here and we need to go to a session let me just remove this uh, WP form that is displaying here and I will just like we did before on the beginning and I will click on pages again so when I click on pages again I will go to blog so when I go to blog, what I can do here now is to uh, like come to this session that's this Ashra team session. You can see Ashra set Ashra settings. I'll click on no sidebar and I will click on uh boss. So I will click on that and I will click on a disable sites uh, uh disable title which is the title which is showing blog here. It will not display on top, but you just be seeing it on the link. So when I click on that, I will click on preview and I will click on preview, open preview in a new tab. And when I click on blog on this session, I will click on blog and I think I have to refresh it. Refresh it again. I think intern, it was, that is internet problem. So let me just refresh that. So now you get an idea on how you can set up the sidebar and like change it. So you know how to change it already. I like let me show you again. You now have to go to the um, go to your dashboard, and once you're on your dashboard, you can click on pages. So once you click on pages, you click on let me say for example blog. You want to change it to make it look to exactly to how you want it to look. You can just click on the Ashra settings here. And you click on no sidebar and the button, the layout weight button, and you can click on that. You don't want this title to display on top of the blogs that you will have because you don't want this because they will be showing already on the top of the link. And you will click on those section that we say, uh, you can see it says disable title, and you will click on update. And once you click on update, you will see that the sidebar, the sidebar you can see, which is this. If I click on blog now, it will display. You will see this sidebar will not display again. It will be displaying like this, or like this one, or like the home page. You will see everything will be looking good. So that is how you can display. You can do that. So what what I want to what I want to show you. If you see when you click on like let me say for example blog, it's showing a uh, blog slash blog slash post. So how we did that, I know, let me say for example, in other, in some situation, it might, it might not be showing that. So how you can fix this situation is to go back to again to your website dashboard. So once you're on your website dashboard, how you can fix this problem. So how you can fix this problem, uh, you need to go to settings and go to permanent links. Permanent, no, it's permanent, not permanent, not permanent, but permalink. You can click on payment links. So once you click on payment links, you have to click on the section that says post name. So once you click on post name again, you just need to scroll down and um, so just scroll down and click on save. So once you click on save, it will be, I think everything will be working fine now. And if there's one thing I want us to set again, let us click on, let me say on um, this uh, reading. I think it's reading, I'm not sure. Uh, if it's not reading, it will be writing or reading. Uh, it's not a session, I think. Which part is that? Okay, yeah, is on on the discussion. So on that, uh, no, is it reading? Is reading? I just click. What did I just? Ah, uh, is media? Just wait a second. Media reading or general? Which one of them? Okay. Sorry about that. It was general. So you can see the tagline is showing my blog. So we need to change that to like um, uh, best. You can change it to like best SEO software tools and editors. So in this session, we can enter the description, like a short description about the tagline. We can enter like, um, oh, let me see, like um, here you, here, here you can. Uh, like, let me just write a short content. So I just enter a short content which say, uh, we talk about best SEO tools, which the tagline is um, best SEO tools and editor software. So we just need to scroll down and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down and click on save. 
So once you have saved it, and if we go back to our new window here and refresh it, I think it will be looking good now. So we can just click on home page, and as you can see, we have uh, uh if we like we head over here, you see it will be displaying best SEO tools. It will not start displaying currently right now, but later it will start displaying. I think it's displaying currently already. You can see when they click on it, it will display at the top. So you can see on this session, you will see we have set up everything. The favorite icon you can see at the top here. And then you can see we have our logo, we have our home page, which I showed you how you can really design it and make it to look to exactly to how you want and how you can create that your website. And you, I showed you how you can create a blog in a very simple way and add blogs. And on this session, you see that I showed you how you can create about us, you write a content about you. And you enter it in the battles page and this session contact us how people can contact you if they have any question about the services you are offering on your website so how you can if let me say for example you want to display your blog on your home page how can you do that so let me show you how you can do that so to display your blog on your home page you need to click on pages and go to home page here and you need to click on edit with elementor just click on edit with elementor here so once you click on edit with Elementor, what you need to do, you need to scroll down here. Just scroll down, select a part, a portion where you want to enter your uh, content or you want to show your blog. So on this session, let me say I want to show it at the bottom of this article. We can just say, um, do something like uh, best uh, get our uh, best blogs so you can just make it to look exactly to how you want it to look uh blogs uh, this spell as well let me just uh, let me see get our best seo tools blogs so we can just do something like that and get our best SEO tools blogs and we can So you are going to search for posts just search for post is post is not it's not really you're not typing blogs so if you want to display your blogs in that part search for post and you need to drag in this one here drag in this and just paste it inside here and if you see it will display so what you need to do is to uh, turn it to card and you can do three column because you you want one here one here so you can do four but four will be little it will become like it will be little uh yeah it will be little so i think um i think that three is more okay so once you do that image you want image to show you can decide if yes or no so the image have to show you can see this thing that is displaying on top which is category just scroll down a bit just scroll down scroll down you'll find this section that say category badge showed you can off it you can see this avatar this avatar which is the admin avatar you can just click on that and click on off and as you can see now i think our website will now be looking good so you can see the way everything is looking but we don't we want everything to be showing you can see that it's like it's too like covering the side here so we need to make sure we center the content so we need to go and center the content we need to center the content We need to center the content so yeah we just need to go to layout style i think it's style so we need to center the content and uh, yeah so if we like remove that now i think everything is is in order and uh, yeah so i think it's, it's okay by me on this way so if we are okay with that we can just click on save if we want to uh, leave everything like that 
and you can just pile it you know just pile it to look exactly to how you want it to look and if you are okay with it you just click on save at the bottom and uh, if you go back again to our main website and refresh it so once you refresh once we have refreshed it you just need to scroll down a bit you can see that our blog is not displaying here so people can reach our blog from the home page of our website you can see they will just see get our uh, best seo tool tools i didn't spell the tools correctly sorry about that which is tl um which is ls tools uh best um get our best seo tools blogs so i didn't spell the tools correctly uh it's okay it's okay so this is now um the blog and when they click on it it will take them to our blog let me say for example i click on it now it will take me to the blog and i will read it and i will see the sidebar here the categories and etc etc so i will show you now how you can add categories to your blogs so how to do that you need to go back again so now you know how you can add um, the blog that you have on your home page of your website so now just need to go back again and now i'm going to show you how you can really add categories to your blog so how to do that you need to go to your uh you need to see go to your blogs and click on categories so you need to create the categories you want so we are going to call this um well, let us call it i'm going to call this like uh, uh let me call this like trending post trending post so call it trending post like that and i'll click on update update and i can add a new um category i will just call this like um let me say for example online for free this category will be in money online for free and i will just click on at the bottom just click on add category add new category as you can see in money online for free have been added so to set that categories to a particular page i'll just go again and click on all post and this is the post we have i'll just click on quick edit and i'll click on the session that you will see category where is categories here you can see category i'll click on earn money online for free and i'll click on update so once i click on update it will be updated on our website so if i click on the session and refresh this page you will see that on the category session let me refresh it again let me scroll down scroll down scroll down you can see it's showing now a money online for free and trending post so that is how you can add categories to your blog post and if they click on that let me say i click on uh, a money online and it will be showing this and you can see uh the category and you can see a money online for free and you will see the blog post that is that is linked to a money online for free so that's that is how you can add categories to each part of your website so i know i talk about that you will make money with this method so how can you really start making money with this method that we you know we have our website created now we have our home page we have everything created and people can really visit our website and go through and read everything like they can click on our blog and they can really like check everything they want to do on our website but how can we really like make money from our website so that is the path we are going to move to now so the first thing you need to do is to um make sure you are uh, have a content you need to think about what you really want to promote so the first thing we need to do is to create affiliate account so from like affiliate program so the the affiliate program that me i'm using let me say for example i'm using impact i will search for impact let me just search for impact i'll click on impact.com and i will log in on my account I just log in on my impact account as you can see now to register is very simple they will approve you maybe in one hour one day to two days they will approve you once you sign up on impact 
So once you sign up for Impact, this is how the dashboard looks. You just need to scroll down and just scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and you'll find a bunch of application and um, website that you can apply. As you can see, this each website is going to pay you. This website is going to pay you 30 percent for qualified payment. This one is going to pay you five dollar for online sales. This one is going to pay you 15 percent uh, for the sales that you are going to drive to them. So what you are doing is that they are giving you a link, and with this link, you are going to be making money at the end of the day. So search for any type of brand that you are looking for. You will find them on Impact. So if you click on Find a Brand, you will see that you will find that that there is a bunch of brand that you will find on Impact, and you can just start like promoting and start making money from so you can see bunch of in bunch of services here you can go and apply on and you will start promoting them and start making a huge amount of money from those companies you can see a bunch of companies that you can make money from on this website or you can search for a particular one that you are looking for start promoting it and you will start making money from it let me say for example we are looking for entertainment um offers if you click on entertainment offers it's going to display anything that concerns entertainment you can see 10 percent five percent this website is going to pay you almost 125 dollars for active user that active sales that you drive to them with desktop and other for registration they will not pay you but if you drive a resales resales uh to them which is people use their platform they paid and you will get a commission for doing that so that is what i want to talk about about impact so to get their link you need to apply so click on apply and they will open this page you have to enter the brief you have to enter a brief like a short brief of how you want to promote their products and once you are through with the uh, brief content you set and you will send them apply now and they will approve you with, within one week you receive a message telling you that that company have approved you to start promoting that product and if they approve you what you need to do go to your home page and how to get their link is to click on this session you will see there are, you will see a bunch of um company that have approved you to promote you just need to click on let me see um this one that is called Invato. And I will just copy the Invato link. I will just click on copy and I will copy the Invato link here and I will just click on copy and I will go back to my website. So once I come back to my website here, so what I need to do here now is to set up my set up this a uh, blog about um impact. So I need to go to blog post. Let me say for example, this is our blog post that we have set. All I just need to do is to click on the blog post here and to edit it and add the links of that impact to this blog post. So what I can do here is that you can see this session, uh, each part of the, like where I have a, a break part, a break part of uh, this content I'm writing about how you can make money, blah, blah, blah. So all I just need to do is to back copyright it and back copyright it. And I'll click on this session. You will see this session that have a link icon. You click on that session. And it will ask you to uh, paste in the link. I will enter my URL there and I will click on open a new window and I will click on enter URL. So as you can see, they can click on this link and once they click on it, they make any purchase, I will make some free cash. I will click on this session that say like um, uh, working or make money, earn money online. This session again, I will just click on this session again, like enter the URL and click on open and click on open and I will click on enter here and you see that is okay now we'll click on update and if we go to our main website now which is the home the our blog I'll click on this session here and I'll click on like read more of our blog just wait in seconds I'll click on this session here so once I click on this session it's going to open up and Why is it not displaying? Let me just do something. Let me just quickly fix something. There's a... So I just continue refreshing the page. Now it's up op is opening well now. So you can see everything is opening here. So you can see that we remember we added we inserted a link to the um uh, to this blog. As you can see, this is a link. If they click on it, I will make some commission. So that is how you can really make money from your blog, like blogging on your website and how you can make money. So what I need to talk about how you can really make a lot of money blogging on your website is that 
you need to focus on a particular uh, uh, keyword, you need to focus on a particular topic. If, if you want to talk about a bunch of topic or a bunch of website on, on your blog, you need to, uh, like, if you want to talk about, like, affiliate marketing, make sure you are talking about all about affiliate marketing or true. Don't, like, combine affiliate marketing and drop shipping or, like, adding all those things together at the same time. It will really uh, key your business and to make visitors not to understand what you are really talking about and you will lose visitors and you will lose clients and you will lose a lot of money. So, if let's say for example anyone click on this link now it will take them to where it will take them to invato so it will take them to this website so anything they buy on this website now i'm going to be making 20 percent of what they buy or 10 percent of what they buy according to what invato told me that they are going to pay me so that is how you can make money like promoting other companies products so you can still use other companies like um let me use like a CJ. Uh, let me let us go back again. Let us go to the other of my website and let us go to dashboard. And I'm going to go to CJ. So if you go to CJ now, I will log in on my CJ account. So for those of you who don't know CJ, CJ is a commission junction. It's a website where you it's like an impact tool. It's a place where you take products and you go and start promoting it. So you like party participate in a particular services and they are going to pay you a high commission if you can see recommended here if i click on recommended you can see a bunch of company you cannot find any companies here yet but if you click on top 10 you can you cannot find things here. if i click on this session you'll find a bunch of um uh, uh services that i have joined that i'm promoting and if i click on this session that say new you'll find the new um uh offers or the new services that they are promoting currently right now that you will make a bunch of money off as you can see they will pay you four percent five percent thirty percent even forty percent even thirty five euros per essay that you are driving sorry about that, that you are driving to this website as you can see this ground floor uh, they are going to pay you five hundred dollars per essay so which is they are, the 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 services the big services and there is a real estate services, which is if you are able to send traffic to them, you are going to be making a lot and a bunch of money at the end of the day by driving this traffic and for making them to make money. So you are going to make $500 by just doing this. So you see that there's a, there's a chance of you making a huge amount of money by just um, using all those services. So how can you apply on all this, these services? So to apply on CJ is simple. And you just need to register and you'll be approved immediately. And to start promoting their product, click on advertiser here. So once you click on advertiser, so on this advertiser dashboard, you will now be able like to select the advertiser you want to promote and apply. So once you apply, they will give you a link. And with that link, you will now start promoting their product and start making money from it. So it's very, very simple. It's just like ABC. So you cut collect their link and start promoting their link so let me show you what is important on uh, cj affiliate so you can see to apply in any services you will see this button that say apply you can see this session that say apply and you click on apply on this session and you will see that it, uh, this window will pop up asking you uh, to wait and it will open up and you have to accept your terms and condition and apply so once you apply you can see it said that your your application have been submitted waiting for review is manual review so they are going to review my application manually and i will just close that tab that tab and i will now wait so if they are approved me i will see the you will see the session that say calendar and link get link and you will see the session that say expire so what you need to do here is to click on the session that say get link if i want to promote like this one that's inter server i will click on get link here so once I click on get link, you will now see that it will open up the website that I'm going to promote now is going to open. It's going to show me banners and how I'm going to promote their affiliate products. So let me say I want to paste this banner on my website. What I need to do is to copy like one of these banner and go and paste it on my website. So how can you get the banner code? You can choose the banner code that you really want. And you can see, let me say, for example, you want, you like this banner code and you feel like this is what's going to make you sales. Just click on it here. This session is like you want to get a code. So once you click on that session, just scroll down a little bit. 
scroll down a little bit you'll find this section that say html javascript and uh click click url so this click url is a link that you can drive traffic to directly but this html is something that you can paste on your website let me paste this html on my website so i will copy this now i will show you how you can do this copy this now and once you copy it go back again to our website here once you come to uh your website go to the section that say appearance and click on widget here so once you click on widget on the html uh, url session click on widget so once you click on widget this tab will open so we are going to look for a text click here and you need to search for h uh, i think uh, you see custom html you need to drag the custom html down here you drag it here and you leave it and you are going to paste in the html code that we copied from um uh, cj cj affiliate and once you are through with that you can decide like you want it to be at the top of category and uh, you can like leave it like that and you can decide that you want category to be at the bottom here and it will be at the top of category you can just click on update and if we go to our website as you can see it's already displaying but let us see how we arrange it and as you can see it's displaying at the top here so when people are reading our content now they see this blog here this banner here they click on this banner it will take them directly to um uh, this session and they will click on continue to visit site and to take them to inter server so this is inter server which is a web hosting company uh which is the managed web hosting like domain and hosting and other vpn stuff servers so but you are going to make money at the end of the day that is what is interesting on this uh, method so you are going to make a bunch of money at the end of the day by doing this method continuously so that is what i, re I really need to talk about on this so that is how you make money with affiliate marketing you can see that i showed you how you can like get your link from this website which is called um this website which is called cj affiliate and uh, it's very very interesting to see that you were able to like understand what i'm talking about and if you let me see you want to send a particular url link you can copy this one and send it to anyone by sms by uh, facebook instagram you can go and start like sharing your uh, link if you want to like write articles and you enter this url for them to click and to view the website that you are trying to talk about or trying to promote so this is the link that you can copy and start sharing to people or on your social platform if you have a lot of follower on on your bio on your instagram account so that is how you can do that and if you want to promote it on your instagram and other platform or google ad you can do that by copying this url it will be the final url where they will click and it will take them to the website and it will get their hosting and domain from that your link and you are going to get a commission for doing that so that is what me i really want to talk about about affiliate marketing and i'll show you the second way you can use to promote your services and what i need before i go into that what i need to talk about you can see currently my balance is 75 dollars balance currently right now which is how much i have and if i scroll down here you can see if i click on this inter server on those session you will see the terms and condition and how much you can make by sending um, users to them and you will see the country that is required to use these services and the country you are allowed to send this traffic to and you see the affiliate program terms of condition you will see that per, per user you are per order you are going to get a hundred dollar for using for sending traffic to them so you can see that you are going to make hundred dollar by just sending traffic to this company which is called um which is called uh um inter server as you can see say customer market customer make instant uh, payment and ma maintains a co account in good standing for 60 days 60 days and referral period is 90 days so you can see say unlimited number of accuracy limited so you can see say lock 
lock method 60 days so they will lock your uh, payment for 60 days after 60 days you will now receive this amount you can see here if they make any purchase from that uh, from this website which is called inter server so that is what i really want to really talk about or about about promoting other companies products and one thing i want you to do or pay attention to is that anytime you promote other companies products you need to make sure you look at their terms and conditions and what they are paying you at the end of your uh at the end once you are through promoting that product or once you start making money because you don't want to promote offer that is paying you one dollar while you are spending hundred dollar at the end of the day so be careful with what you are promoting online and uh, yeah you want to make money but you don't want to lose so that is what I need to talk about on this video I hope that I'm helping you a way on how you can really uh, create your you already know how you created uh, how you can create your website and you created that and now you um, you know how you cannot promote your affiliates products what i need to talk about again before uh, we go to the end of this video is that other way you can promote your affiliate uh how you not affiliate but other way you can make like extra income on your website is by linking other companies to your website which is google adsense you can go to google uh how to start using you can install a uh, google site kit you see google 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 kit uh, let me like Google what? Google Kit? Is it Google Kit? They call it or what? Let me try to see. Yeah, it's, it's site, uh, site Kit uh, by Google. You can just install it. And once you install this Site Kit by Google, what it's going to do is that it's going to allow you, you click on activate once you are through installing it. So it's going to allow you to like monetize your website. It's going to set up a Google AdSense. You're going to link it, link it to your website. And you cannot start monetizing your website with this platform so all you just need to do is to like set it up with sites with uh, set it up and uh, Google will verify your account within uh, one week or two weeks as long as you are getting organic traffic to your website you will now uh, 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 start uh, Google will start displaying their ad on your website and you can go to your Google Adsense and start monetizing to set it up is very simple i don't need to go into that it's very very simple all you just need to do is to go through it and see what you want to do about that so let me show you proof that I've ma i'm making money from my adsense so i'll just click on adsense as you can see today so far i made today so far i made uh 50 56 cents it's not a lot yesterday i made 78 cents we keep on going depending on the traffic you are getting on your website one dollar and you see i keep on making money and currently right now i have um i have 251 dollars on my 50 251 euros on my account so you can see now that i'm making money with this method i'm not just talking about it so i'm just showing you proof that i've make money by promoting other companies plural talking about other companies and why i'm monetizing my website in two ways so i monetize my website in two ways which is affiliate marketing and monetizing my website with google adsense so you see i'm making money in both ways so that is how you can start making passive income with this method i hope you learned something from this and if you learned something don't forget again to hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel so what i need to talk about you see that on our website we didn't create this session which is called uh we know we created a part which is which is this session let me go back again i think on our website if i click on home page here you can see that um our privacy policy and reform policy we didn't we didn't there's no content on it so when i click on privacy policy there is nothing and if i go back again i click on uh, reform policy there is nothing on it there's no content that is displaying so to make on to how can we generate privacy policy because there's a lot of things to how can we generate that so how you can generate that is to go to this website which is called let, let us go to the website together so come to this website which is called uh, h super tools and click on this session that say web tools and click on uh, uh this session that say privacy policy generator so click on privacy policy generator and can't just scroll down and click on this session that says um uh, company name you are going to enter your company name which is um 
I'm go just going to enter it in just a second. So once you click on, you see, generate your privacy policy. So you can see, enter your website name, your website URL, and click on generate here. So as you can see, it just automatically generated our privacy policy. This is the HTML of our, pri our version of our privacy policy. And we just need to scroll down here and like cancel this so that we can see our page very well. So you can see this is the privacy policy uh, that we just generated. So what you can do here is to like copyright it and click on all and we need to center all the content. So click on this session and we can say center and we can center all the content and we need to copy, center it again and select all and copy everything. Just copy everything and go to your privacy policy page, which is um, here and we need to go to pages. Let us go and look for privacy policy, which is this one here. We need to click on it and make sure it's open. So once it's open, we just need to enter on that session where it said we should enter the content and we need to click on paste. So we have pasted the core content. So all we just need to do is to click on the session that say update and we are done with that and we need to go back again and open the second page which is called terms of use and we are going to go back to um this session this website which is called uh hey super tools go back again click on the session that say web tools and click on terms of terms and condition and we need to come back again here and enter our website information which is you save seo tools let us enter everything in just a second so once we have entered the information, uh, the generate the terms of condition, we just need to click on generate and it will generate the content. So what we just need to do is to uh, center all the content again like we did last time and uh, click on that and select all and click on this session here and center everything and click on this session and uh, click on this session again, click on select all and copy the content and go back to your website and you need to paste it under the terms of terms of use which is the terms of condition i uh, will just paste in that and we are good to go and i will just click on save and i have to make sure that it's displaying as uh, no sidebar and uh, disable title and you have to be uh, this boss and I'll do the same for the other one too. So I'll just go back again to the other page, which is privacy policy. I will just do the same thing just to uh, remove the uh, sidebar. I will just click on no sidebar and click on boss. And I click on disable title and I click on update. And I will go back to now to the main website, which is this in a new tab. I will now go up again and if I refresh the page, I think everything will be working well by now. So I will just scroll down again and scroll down and scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. If I click on privacy policy and refresh, as you can see now, everything is displaying fine. We have our privacy policy uh, that is displaying very well. And if we click on terms of use, which is terms of condition, if I refresh, I think yes, it's not displaying now. So we have everything generated and created for us. So we have our beautiful website with every all the functions like other websites. So now we can now go and uh, uh, start like designing. And if we want to add more design, make our website to look different, we can start doing that. But our website is working now. People can visit it and see what we are really. Uh, promoting or talking about on our website. This is just an example of what you can do. So just for you to get an idea that you can make something more beautiful than this. So you can see, I teach you how you can create your menu, add your logo, display your logo, display your uh, about us, contact us, and I showed you how you can uh, set up your your design and set up the footer and change the color background, add contact us and everything. So you know how you can create your website now for completely free. You don't need to pay for anyone to teach you. You can just keep on repeating this video, watching it, watching it, and 
you will learn something at the end of the day by just doing this so now i uh, will end the video from here and again don't forget again to smash the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel this seo tool that i'm using to make this video this website is a tool that i'm working on now so you need to stay up to date so that you will get a full access to this website when it's ready so i will just say thank you for watching and if you learn something from this video please leave me a comment in the comment section below and uh, yeah so you can now go and start monetizing your website with affiliate marketing and google adsense so i'll say thank you very much if there is any area i didn't cover on this my video please please leave me a comment in the comment section below i promise you i will come back and i will show you more ways and more strategy on how you can design your website and make more money and the one, one thing i want to talk about if you see on my main website which is yugos power let us go to my main website where is it yeah this is my main website which is used if you want to learn how you can create the menu like this that you can see here you can find all those things you can add all those fashion and everything you just need to leave me a comment in the comment section below and i promise to come back and go through that for you and make a video about how you can create a heading like this so i'll say thank you very much and uh, see you soon on my next video and um, baba and peace if there is any way i didn't cover please leave it in the comment section below i will try to make video about that again in other tutorial thank you very much and see you soon on my other video a way on how you can make money online for free thank you